So the breaker's on. And turn this on. Yeah. yeah trip the breaker. That's halfway. So we're going to remove the two screws in the back. This one here and this one here. Yeah, the capacitor looks in bad shape. Now I'll link down below how to test the capacitor. I can almost guarantee it's this. We're going to have to test this if you have one sitting around or just order one and then swap it out. So, but for now I'll show you how to if you don't have a tester right away. Yeah, for this pump here, that bearing looks pretty bad too in the back, the back bearing. Looks like it's in rough shape. So we're going to spin this and see what uh, if we can spin the shaft. Put some pairs of pliers. Yeah, it moves freely. We should change that bearing out. This is a pretty old pump. These have a charge to it. So remove those two leads. And you just usually test these two here. So you put a screwdriver across to take that charge off. If you need a new one, all information's right there. Now we're gonna test it for now. Make sure those two leads right there are not touching nothing metal. So those are not touching anything, so I can leave that. We're gonna turn it on, and if it stays on, then it's good. it's the capacitor. But if you wanna test that, if you have a tester for it, test it. But I'll link down below the video. So here we go. Reset it, all the way back, turn it on. So I could hear the pump back there was humming. It's gonna be the capacitor. Make sure that's off. To make sure it's off, you have to reset. So here's my new one. This one's a little bit longer, but it has exactly the same specs as the shorter one. It's a little bit taller. As long as it fits in there. I'm not even sure if it will fit in there, but as long as it fits and nothing's touching. So we'll just test it for now. Put the leads on, turn it on. Maybe we'll leave that for now. So it's on, and we'll turn it on. Reset it, turn it on. There we go, it's on. Make sure you turn the power off again. So turn the power off. Gonna make sure nothing's touching. A little bit longer, but it's as long as nothing's touching here, it's pretty close to the screw here. But it's far enough away, it's not gonna do anything. Uh, I just couldn't put the other brace on this side. Normally it's only one anyway, as long as it's snug in there. And then since everything's off, just inspect all your wires, burnt wires, anything like that. Then we're gonna turn it back on. Go up and running again.